Welcome back for another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to create the task detail page. So we're going to add the database for task details, and we're going to add new functionality for commenting on those tasks. Let's get started with our database. So over here in our database, we need to add a new option right now for comments. All right, because the goal is to be able to comment on a task. And right now we have tasks, but we don't have a way to store our comments. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to create from scratch, it's going to call it comments. And once we have the comments, I'm going to have this right here. The name is just going to be like the text body. It could be a long text here. We're going to relate it to a task. And how do we relate it to a task again? We're going to use a linked record. Link to another record, tasks, okay? And we don't want it to go to multiple, just one, all right? Right now, this means that because we created this relationship, we can comment on tasks. If you wanted to add commenting functions to more things like projects or clients, you could add more linked fields to this same table and then use it in that way as well. Otherwise, we are going to have the commenter, the person that left the comments, and that is indeed going to be a user. And we're going to find the user right there just to make sure that's linked to our users. And we are only going to allow it to be linked once. And then we want to add a created date here, created dates. And this is going to be the date format for Airtable. That looks fine. We can include it, time within it, that as well. Awesome. All right, so we have our comment built in now, but let's get into software and make it happen. So luckily, we could reuse a lot of this experience because if we want to do the same thing, but for tasks in the sense of if you click on this, it opens a side module. And then in that side module, we could have the task details and then the comments below it. I think that'd be a good user experience. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this page, the files page, and it's going to be the task details page. All right, so if I'm going to go back in here, go to pages, and I have tasks, but no task details, that's great, because I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to say duplicate, and that is going to be a project files copy, and I'm going to go into the general, and it's just going to be project task details, and then it's going to be task details, all right? All right, now that we've duplicated our project files page, we have a good starting point to create our task detail page, all right? And the goal of this task detail page is to have the task details up here and commenting function here. So we actually don't need this block, so I'm just going to delete it outright. We're going to start with building out our task details. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to switch the source away from projects to tasks. All right, now that it's task, we can get rid of this name here. And we could figure out another way to say this. And so the assignee includes any of the logged in users assignee. Logged in user, it's not going to be there. Hmm, let's see. We're going to go project includes any of the logged in users projects. There we go. So that way, only the user that has access to the projects where the tasks are located can see this. So that's going to be the safe way that we go about that. Now that we have that updated safely, let's go to content and build out this task details. So I'm going to keep my project name up there. So this is, it says task name, but I, I want to keep it as the project name in that capacity. So that's going to be the project. And then I'm going to add some new things. So now I am going to add a project name here. I mean, my task name, and I'm just going to bring this up right up here. Excellent. So we have the project and then the task name, let's see, ah, because these are all invisible. So that's the next thing. So we have the project and then the task name. That's great. We do need a little bit of spacing between that, but we'll come back to that. And then afterwards, I want to show this and then I'm just going to bring it. Can I bring it under here? No, with the task details, you can't. So I'm just going to add a new task details and it's going to be task description. It'd be right there, All right? That's good. Now let's add some attachments for files. Files, attachment, attachments, it's good. And then let's add a date field here. When is, is deadline for this? Deadline, 
And then we'll add a status field, which will be a tag. Status. And let's keep it, let's make sure we can style that. So that's looking pretty good for me. I'm going to style this tag field. It's going to be black text. We're going to go right there. And then the background, I'm going to get rid of the border and the background color is going to be this gray right there. So that's good. I'm going to create some more spacing above this H1, around this H1. So I'm going to go find this task name. For the actual project name, let's go up here and just make it a little gray so it's not as bold. There we go. That's nice. All right. We're going to need to add a task edit here so we can edit this task. And so we'll do that with our action buttons. And for this, we're going to enter the task name, description, status, deadline, and attachments. So I'm going to go through this task name. It's going to be text. Long text for test description, give the user some information on how we should fill out that input. Status, so that's going to be a drop down for status. And then again, this is a task, so task status. Deadline is a date field, and that is going to be deadline. And then finally, a file field for a file uploader for attachments right there. All right, so that should be pretty good. Now let's go over and add this to the actual experience on a project details page so we, then we can preview it. So I'm going to go to project details. And now I'm going to click on tasks because I want this modal to pop up when I click on task. It means I got to go to task, actions, and I'm looking for item on click right here. So it's not a button, it's an item on click when I'm clicking this thing. And I'm going to open detail page and I want to open the task details. And matter of fact, I want to open it in a modal and I want that to be a side modal to the right hand side. Cool. So let's check it out. All right, we're on the detail page here. I see tasks, I click on it and there it is. We have our task detail popping right up there. If I go to edit this, I can edit update that record. That's awesome. That's already built for me. Very good. Now let's add our commenting function right here. And remember with the commenting table, now what we need to do is find the current record, which is for the task and connect those two. And on this block, we're going to say the air table table is comments. The commenter ID is the actual commenter. The current record is the task. That's the current record that we want to refer to, to pull all the comments in for. The comment field is the comment field and the comment date mapping is the created date. And I think that's it. We can remove, let's see, for the text, we can go up here and go remove that and just say, leave a comments and make that capitalized. Leave a comments and then let's just try it out. All right, we're on the project detail page. We see our task, we click on it. We see the task details. We see leave a comment right here. And then I would like to leave a comment. Does it work? It works, there we go. We just add the commenting function to our application four minutes. And like I said before, with your database structure, you can reuse this comment block on your project, your client details and many other places. All you need to do is just add an additional linked record to this table right here for files or projects or clients, and it's going to work easy. And there you go. You have back and forth communication with your client and your admin experience managing this task. You can edit this task. You can see all the task details there. Maybe a little bit too much space there. So let's clean that up and then get on to the next lesson. All right. Leave a comment, styles, padding top. All right. That's good. And then we'll just get rid of some style, the padding bottom on this. That should be good. All right. Easy peasy. So we have our task experience done with the task details and commenting. We have our project files detail done for adding files to your projects. We're adding a lot of functionality here. I mean, we have this whole projects experience, files, tasks, all that stuff done. 
but invoices is next. So why don't we get onto invoices and some more functionality to finish up this app, but we're close. We're almost there. So catch me on the next lesson and I'll see you.